Hey guys, Beefy Avocado here for my first ever recording and one of my first ever streams. I'll be playing my Doomcrag Control, which uh, has gained some popularity on the Legend decks recently. Um, I think three or so other people have posted very similar uh, decks on there. I've actually never seen those before. Um, I posted it. I know it was talked about in a couple forums, um, but never actually saw anybody play the Doomcrag Vampire. And uh, this is the list I'm currently playing right now. I, I don't know how to put it up um, next to my gameplay. I'll figure that out on another video, another stream. Um, but essentially, I've taken out the ramp. Um, it seems to be working a little better. I've also added in two Withered Hand Cultists um, due to the large amount of assassins on the ladder at the moment. It really messes up their game plan. I may actually add in a third one right now as it does seem to be performing pretty well. I'm just not sure what I can really take out right now. Um, <clears throat> could be one Doomcrag, that may be one too many. Um, could be a Whirling Duelist as well, that might be one too many. Um, I think I'll try for the Whirling Duelist. I've had those in my hand a couple times where I really wasn't able to do much with them. And the Withered Hand Cultist does seem like it's going to add more value. Um, Alright, well, I'm sitting at rank 5 right now. I've been kind of teetering up and down um, rank 5. I haven't really had a chance to play all too much this season yet. Um, so let's see what this can do. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Um, Alright, Krezel. Let's see what we got here. Scout. That's a pretty solid opening hand for a Doomcrag control. She got Krezel. Go ahead and elixir out the wing keep into the field lane. So I've noticed the deck is definitely versatile. You can just fight for control of the board. You really don't want to break too many runes and give your opponent a huge card advantage, but uh, it's not too bad to start picking away at their health since it's not a typical control deck and you know, a ramping. Um, you do have some mid-range creatures in there. Um, scouts don't play too many actions and I don't really see much that he could do here from an action perspective so I might just save my elixir and throw down Farron on the right block any potential aggression in case this isn't a ram scout <clears throat> right, it is his grove now we know we need to start going face um, because if he gets to turn 15 we're kind of fucked. Um, we don't play his groves. If he gets those Swamp Leviathans out, we're not in a good place anymore. So let's go ahead and put out a more powerful creature behind this guard and start hitting that face of his. Let's see what Krezel can do. I'm guessing he's going to play a Thorn Hist Mage right now, and that would be pretty shady for us. Oh, no, Snowy Sabercat making an appearance. Well, that's quite interesting. Uh, I wish I could afford the Doom Crag because that would just turn this into Fighter's Guild Recruit. Let's go ahead and swing. And go ahead and put that over there. <clears throat> we take out that Snowy Saber Cat. Next turn. Not too worried about it, to be honest. It's not doing much right now. That I'm not as excited about. Ooh, it's a good draw, huh? All right, let's think here. We can take out the Snowy Saber Cat. Hit face. Let's go ahead and silence this guy to stop his ramping. We're good to go. So if 
or go on his plan. I'm giving him card advantage here, which is unfortunate, but I really do want to take him out before 12, turn like 12 or 13. Because then things will just get scary. There is the throw in his mage. Unfortunately, I do have Doomcrag here, which I'm just going to throw it into this lane and use my wind keep to destroy it. Keep going, face. I think we're in a pretty good place here right now. I've got this lane locked down, basically. If he can't do anything. Okay. So he's going to keep drawing cards. That is fine. Um, yeah, I'm not going to let him draw any cards, though. This is where Doomcrag is really interesting. It turns your sharpshooter scouts into Elena Benix for one. Boom. Beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and keep pushing that damage. I think we got this game locked. I'm going to go ahead and really lock it down in the Night Shadow, in the Shadow Lane. Well, there you go. Doom Crag in action. Let's uh, go ahead and try it again after this. Maybe we can actually reach rank 4. Let's see what I got here. 15 gold, the usual. Heavy battle axe. Alright. Screw screw, or screw crew, hmm, interesting. Monk. Monk is a rather powerful deck, or class. It's, uh, it's a little underrated right now. I was actually starting off the season trying out Monk, something similar to Justin Larson's deck that he's been playing. Um, but, uh, you know, I like to play some funner random cards, so I did throw in a ho two Hoffengar Marauders. Um, for better or worse, it didn't seem to be um, doing as well as his deck. I do like Dawnstar Healers, um, Golden Saints. I think they generate a lot of value. Okay, so this guy's just drawing the cards right now. Not doing all that much, I'm not too worried. I'm just gonna leave that there and save my crushing blow for something more important. So in this matchup, I probably won't be going face. Ah, there's exactly what I was saving that crushing blow for. Let's get rid of that whereabouts. Or as Boom's Life likes to say, wire bat. Assume that'll only be a 4-2. That won't affect my matchup against it. Well, I guess it will. Um, you do Sharpshooter Scout and um, Rapid Shot against it, which is huge. Okay. What's this guy playing? It seems to be kind of just a normal mid rangey. Uh, okay. So we have the Doomcrag Sharpshooter Scout combo for next turn. But for now, I wonder if I want to play Gortwog or if it's just going to be basically piercing Javelin fodder. It's probably just going to die to that. Should I bait it somehow? Should I just Shadow Fen his Elixir, but then I'm kind of worried about a Divine Fervor Thieves Den coming? It doesn't seem like he's playing Thieves Den, but. Divine Fervor is very likely. People are probably still playing that until it gets nerfed. Um, Monk particularly likes to play that at the higher ranks. You don't see so much spell sword token here, but um, one, two, three, four, five cards. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and take our chances. If it survives, it will give us a good amount of value. If it doesn't, we'll just figure out what we're gonna do next turn.
and take four more damage. Not that big of a deal. This deck is really good at coming back from low health, stabilizing the game later on, and then just coming back. So not too worried if it does die. If it doesn't, hopefully we get something good. Maybe a Blood Magic Lord, maybe an Odaving. Oh, doesn't seem like he has Piercing Javelin. Let's see what happens. Okay, but he is gonna use Drain here. And, oh, pulled Odaving, so that's not coming out. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? That's good. Blood Dragon. Okay. Now. Thank you. Let's Doomcrag this thing before it gets too big. Again, with the beauty of Doomcrag, we will Sharpshooter Scout it. Even though it's in the Shadow Lane. Which is nice. And that's... I wonder if we want to get rid of that or hit face. I'll just get rid of it. Okay. In a good spot. Mm. Territorial Viper. Mm, finish off. Okay. Still not too worried. Let's have him break another rune. We got Preserver of the Root. Withered Hand Cultist next turn, and Naga Leave if we want to. Got a lot of options here. Okay, he's gonna Merc Water Witch or Sharpshooter Scout. Okay, that's alright. Let's, uh. Ooh, that's nice. Let's Preserver of the Root. Hit this. Well, let's go ahead and Rapid Shot to get a card. I do want to draw some more. Um, we'll do that. We'll do Wither Hand Cultist to block any... It'll basically make his Piercing Javelin cost 7, which would be nice. This is just one of my favorite cards in the game. Really punishes action-heavy decks, Action Assassin, and um, even the new Aggro Action Mage, as well as some more action-based control decks. Time is it? I gotta start getting to work soon. Well, there it is. He had to spend seven mana to take out that Withered Hand Cultist. That must have felt pretty bad for him. Let's go ahead and take this out. We can hit face for once. We can do a lot of stuff now. I kind of want to get out the Rothgore Forge so my creatures start getting pretty powerful. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then throw out a Farron Defender into the Shadow Lane. See what it gets. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Hive Defender. Let's um Let's go ahead and wrap the shot up, get another card, see what we got. Skaven Pyro. So that's an interesting, interesting card when it comes down to uh, Doomcrag because it just wipes the whole board. It's like a Dawn's Wrath. You only want to use it in very desperate situations. Um, let's go ahead and hit face once here. We can also put our Nogalee down on the left to block any aggression. Let's see what it gets. Oh, a 10-10 Nogalee. That is beautiful. I'm not going to break another rune. By the way guys, I don't see Twitch chat right now. This is one of my first streams and videos, so sorry if I'm not answering any questions and if you're interested in stuff. Um, that's nice. We can Earthbone Spinner, Doomcrag that um, Werebat, and that's basically like a kill for any ward creature as well, which is beautiful. Um, do we want to attack yet? 10, 17, nah, let's wait another turn. We also have Odaving next turn. In case he builds a board. I don't think he's gonna with the last three cards he has. Oh, there comes the second Territorial Viper. That kind of sucked. Maybe I should have sworn. I don't think he's gonna be able to do much, to be honest. Let's uh, put down a one keep spell sword, see what it gets. Oh, there's my new guard creature. Um, 
And let's just wait again. See what he does. <clears throat> okay, House Kinsman. Let's go ahead and silence it. Why not? Oh, there's a nice dream creature for us. Beautiful. Mm, I don't want him to kill my defender here, so... I'm gonna go ahead and do that instead. I'll just relax again. This is what you call Doomcrag control. He can't do anything right now. He's just desperate. I'm not even scared of this Broom of Prophets here. What's he gonna do? <laughs> I have full board clear here. I have another Elena Benick in my hand. I have a Dawn's Wrath in my hand. This is like... Ridiculous. I have two Dawn's Wraths. I have one over there. Oh, oh my goodness. Alright, let's gain some life just to make him safe. Um, should I start swinging is the question. Let's, um, let's wait another turn, I think. Then we can throw down Odeving if he extends. Again, sorry guys for not having Twitch up. I, um, oh, was not expecting that from this deck. Let's see what he takes. I took Doomcrag. Smart. Okay. That's alright. Let's, um, let's do our own Doomcrag here. Let's, uh, kill this. Let's get another Doomcrag on the board. Oh, we have a third Doomcrag. No good attack. With one. Yeah, <laughs> this guy must be getting so mad at us just sitting here with his board. He's trying everything he can. What if he Oda things right now? It wouldn't be that devastating. Unfortunately, he does not have more health than me. Oh. He forgot. Oh, I think this is a good time for Odeving to come out. Don't you? Let's uh, close this game out. Next turn we can swing. Oh, that's a 14-14 Odeving. Beautiful. Fortunately, when that happens, everything in this lane still remains lethal because it doesn't steal Doom Crags. Other friendly creatures in this lane have lethal, um, which is very nice. Um, now, what he doesn't know is that I have more than one way to clear his board. I will wait. Lethal does not kill Ward, so I will Whirling Duelist, Daedric Dagger here. That must have been pretty devastating for him. I'll do this. Let's go ahead and swing. He didn't hit one prophecy, which is nice. And that's game. There you have it. Once again, Doomcrag just coming out, killing it. Criminally underrated card, in my opinion works wonders sometimes. Yes, it's definitely situational, and I agree. Sometimes you don't get the right draw and you can't do much. Here comes Manticorus. This guy seems to be playing a pretty similar deck to what Justin Larson has. It's like a... almost like a mid-rangey on the control side monk. Well, you had to do that last turn before you conceded, right? That's very nice. There you have it guys, Doomcrag Control, two matches in a row, two nice wins. Um, gonna sign off now, do have to head to work, um, unfortunately they won't pay me to play video games all day. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, if you did, I promise I will do better at getting um, Twitch 
set up so I can answer your questions live, but uh, I'll try to answer those um, in YouTube once I post the actual videos. Again, thanks for watching. Beefy Avocado here. If you have any questions about the deck or anything, feel free to either shoot me a note on Reddit, uh, Beefy Avocado there, or on um, the YouTube video once I post that. Later.